Hey, what's up? It's Marcus with Retro Game Players. Thank you for watching this video. This is Soul Calibur on the Sega Dreamcast. Namco. This is one of my favorite games ever made, and it's for one of my favorite game systems ever made as well. Um, in fact, when this came out, I bought this system day one, which was September 9th, 1999. And I pre-ordered this game, like, the system actually, and this game, like, months ahead of when it was released. Um, but yeah, I got this game. I think I got Sonic Adventure. Maybe Expendables. I'm trying to think. Just a few, you know. But I played this game so much back in the day. Um, and even still, sometimes play it. I mean, I really like even some of the newer versions. Like, I think I have Soul Calibur V on PS3. And that's, that's cool. It's definitely awesome. But when you play it on an old Dreamcast controller, it just fits, you know? And, uh, like, I have, the, you know, the arcade stick that I was playing, like, on those Splatterhouse videos that I did. And I, I won't use it on that, this game, you know? Even though that's a perfect arcade one, I, arcade stick, I just like playing with this. So, yeah, I mean, all these characters are just so well done. And it's cool because as you beat the game, I'm pretty sure the intro changes and the background changes too. So just like a lot of other fighting games, you have to continuously, you know, beat each each uh, arcade level or game with each character. That way you unlock a new character or an outfit sometimes, which is kind of lame. But there you go, there's Voldo. Pretty creepy dude. Maxi, that's pretty much the guy who I usually play with. Although I can generally play with anybody on here. Um, I don't remember all the moves, but yeah. And you'll see this is a this is a new game because everything's pretty much um, brand new. I haven't done anything, so I don't have anybody unlocked. So I figured what I'd do is just kind of go through the missions, or I mean the uh, arcade mode, and just see how far I can get. And um, you know, the way to really do it fast is to put it on easy and just put it down to one one uh, round per fight. In other words, instead of having to lose or win two times, you just have to win or lose once. And then you put it on easy and you just, you know, scream through the first one. And you gotta beat that dude that just spiraled out there at the last uh, battle. Which can be pretty tough, honestly. So if I get to him, it could be pretty tough. But I am gonna change it to uh, one round like that. Um, if I change my life bar, I'm pretty sure that that also increases for the the enemy too, which is fine. I'm just going to do 100. Um, and then medium, I'll just leave it at medium. I could go easy and then also hard or very hard or ultra hard. So we'll start it at medium. Maybe depending on how well I do, I'll increase that. So let's see how I do. It's been years since I've played this by myself. But we're going to do uh, Arcade. Back to the and just to kick it off right, I'm going to go and play Maxi, just because that's usually who I would play. All right, so they're pitting me against Voldo first. Let's see uh, let's see how I can do here. When this game came out, seriously, the graphics were mind-blowing. I still think they look really good. And one other thing, too, is that normally when I record my old retro games, um, you'll notice... Oh, I want to ring him out. Love doing that. And then the replays are so cool. You can zoom in and out. Oh, they cut me off right as I was doing my slide. Uh, but normally when I record my old games, I'm using a Frame Meister, which produces pretty cool scan lines on, like, you know, TurboGrafx, Super Nintendo, my Genesis games, all that. Um, but on this Dreamcast, I'm actually using a VGA box. Um, which converts it to VGA and RGB, and um, anyway, it produces its own scan lines, which is which is pretty awesome. Oh, uh, so that's kind of a comparison. I don't know if you watched the um, Splatterhouse games that I was playing on the Dreamcast, but those were using the Frame Meister. This one is using the VGA box. So I'm kind of anxious to see how it turns out. But the scan lines are those, all those horizontal lines that go across the screen. And they kind of um, are there to produce a look similar to an old uh, CRT. Um, 
television, which is cathode ray tube, I believe. I think I'm saying that right. Oh, I gotta focus. She ain't playing around. Oh. Yeah, there's not really any fatalities in this game or anything, but there's a lot of awesome moves. I mean, everybody has so many different moves, and every move is even dependent on what angle you come at the other person at, so you have different moves for that, too. Oh, God, Nightmare, man. He's, he's one of the coolest. He actually wields the Soul Edge, so he's a pretty important character. I think it's a Soul Edge, anyway. One of the best moves with him is that he does this drop kick, and you can, like, ring people out, like, no problem. There you go. Ooh! But yeah, you can just, like, do this, like, crazy drop kick and just, like, just throw people so far out of the ring. It's awesome. I think Siegfried does that, too. Siegfried's, like, um, I think Siegfried is uh, basically just like Nightmare, except he's before he got the Soul Edge, and it corrupted him. I'm pretty sure. Something like that, anyway. Even though they both have the same kind of looking sword. A good friend of mine used to play Keelik all the time, and we would have some of the most insane battles, because Keelik is very, very hard to defend against once he gets rolling. And uh, you might see that here if I'm not careful. Oh. Oh, oh shit. There we go. This victory. I like love that voice too. So yeah, this was actually um, the sequel too, because the original was in the arcade. I think it was on PlayStation 2. PlayStation 1, not, not the PlayStation 2. Um, and it was called uh, Soul Blade? Or Soul Edge in the United States and Soul Blade in Japan, something like that. It's funny because Mitsurugi, I've never... I can play him if I have to, but he's got kind of a weird rhythm, and uh, I, I have a hard time playing that guy. So does Maxi, though. Maxi's got a weird rhythm. Which is why I'm, I think I'm so good at it, because I can counter and do things that people aren't expecting, you know? Uh, ooh, Astaroth. Yeah, this dude's, this dude's something else, too. Look at that, he can barely lift his own hammer up, his axe. Oh! Oh. Oh shit, not good. Oh. oh, he got me. Motherfucker. was seriously wounded. Yeah, he was. Okay, okay, okay. Final battle. Try him again. Oh, Astaroth, you bastard. Oh. Oh, oh no! Oh, I was trying to run out the ring again. Strengthens the soul of Maxi! Alright, here we go. Something's happening. Holy shit! It's like Infernus or Inferno or something like that. Inferno. Yep. And you're in space. Inferno is pretty tough. He does not mess around, so it might take me a few times to beat him. Hopefully I can. Look at that. Look at he just starts out crazy, you know. Oh, man. All right, I got a little over half his health that time. Let me try it again. But seriously... Oh! Oh! 
Oh, you little bitch. Look at me. Just... Oh, not that move. No. Oh. He's just like poking me with his sword. It's like, dang, dang, you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, seriously though, having it on one battle mode is a lot easier. Damn it. Oh my god. You son of a bitch. Nine! That's German for no. I know that much. And that's that's what I'm talking about. You little bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. Perfect! There, that was redemption right there. No! You win! Yeah, dude. No! What is he having a heart attack? The price of defeating evil was high. Hey! What took you so long? No, this can't be. This is the end of the line for me. That's Keelik, his friend. And Keelik Maxi! Keelik was without words, and Zing Hua looked on quietly, as she most often does. The winds blew and the clouds moved on as if they were oblivious to their mortal plight. And there's Keelik just throwing the nunchucks into the sea. Why would you do that, you idiot? You idiot! Congratulations. Look at that. You are a true hero, and your legend will never die. But across the horizon, a new quest beckons your soul. So there you go, guys. That was uh, one playthrough, Maxi, on medium difficulty. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of these. You know, I'm happy to do some more. I can play through the game and unlock everything. Um, and I can even step it up to hard or very hard or ultra hard and just see how I do. I'm not afraid. I am not afraid. And um, also there is a whole another section to this game called the Mission Battle. I think it's Mission Battle. Where you unlock different challenges, which can be really hard. Like you have to beat like 50 guys in a row, you know, and stuff like that. And it's pretty awesome. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. And if you want more, I'll, I'll do some more of these. I can play Keelik and some of the other guys. I can go through the whole game, but I might do it anyway, just because I love it so much. But thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, till next time, keep it retro by playing your old Sega Dreamcast and Soul Calibur. Peace out.